my friends. We come to you from the very, very cold Logan, Utah. We are in Northern Utah. Look at all this snow. So much snow. Um, it is really cold. It is 21 degrees. And we have spent the past hour <laughs> going to get a few grocery items. We've got some bagels and cream cheese and milk and bananas just to tie us through for a few days. But we've also been trying to find a Tesla charging station. <laughs> And there's not a single one in the whole town. They have chargers. They have that some. The barely pre previous generation of wall chargers that we have at our home. Yeah. So they don't charge super fast. Yeah. You want to see my old elementary school? Except that's not it. That one over there is. This is the new one. So my dad has, like, we just have it plugged in at my dad's house with just a portable charger, which is just going into a regular plug. Like a power cord. A power cord. And overnight for 12 hours, it only got to 30%. So we got to find another solution. But my neighbor just wasn't home this morning. He has a Tesla and he has solar panels that charge his Tesla, like the, it, whatever. And so it never costs him a thing to charge his. He just wasn't home this morning. So I'm kind of hoping he's home um, or I can find a neighbor. My dad's gone all day and I need to find his phone number from one of the neighbors um, so I can arrange to charge it at some point today. Uh, or otherwise, it's, we're gonna have to like just keep. Well, we can't, there's that free one we could try to go find and do. That one down there's free too. Yeah, they're but just, it was gonna take four slow. hours they're to charge. Slow. Yeah, so it's beautiful. We're trying to figure out what to do today. Unfortunately, the tubing hill is not open yet that we were gonna go to. And Ashley is super tired, so she's not really up for skiing. And the problem is, we got my brother all the way up here to go skiing. And now, I don't know, maybe I just send you for a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Trying to figure out what we do today. When we're tired, sick of traveling. Um, but we have a full day tomorrow for the wedding. So I'm trying to also like save energy. Okay, babe, what did we just discover? Let me get better light for you. What did we just discover? Our, my, my dad's neighbor has a Tesla. He has a charger. Plugged in a little charger thing. Anyways, he's got the NE whatever outlet. And it looks like that doesn't charge as fast. As? Like the, the level three adapter thing we got. The official Tesla yeah. outlet charger. So we went to a two this afternoon and it was only like it was super slow and if I get home it's like twice as fast so I think I I never paid attention I just got whatever they had at the time and who gave me a hard time about paying to have to save us 500 I understand 600 actually with the installation $700 oh 600 no because it was 500 to get the charger and then a hundred and something to get okay regardless <laughs> who's right who's right Who's happy with the charger you have at home? I'm happy with the charger I have at home, and that's what Dana wants me to say. Because I am she right. She encouraged me to do that. I did, and you're very happy with that scenario now. Hey, no, you gotta go down. All right, we're gonna go Monday to lunch. Monday, probably. Oh, we saw your cousin at the post office. My cousin? Yeah. Which one? What's her name? Um, the one that's Hang on. the card. Hang on. So, we're going to lunch, and this girl's actually wearing pants and a coat. I have shorts underneath. Yeah, in case you get hot. It's 20 degrees out here. I think you're going to be fine. No, for the butt warmer. Don't think you're going to, for the butt warmer? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go to Juniper Takeout. What do you get there, Dan? This is my brother, I Dan. The, in hey, case you want to say hi to Dan. We get the ground round. The, it's, like a, it's like a ground beef steak thingy. Weird oh, really? Thingy. Yeah. Oh. It's got mushrooms in it. It's actually pretty good. Oh. I've never heard of that yeah. one. Yeah. I can't decide between like the real meal, like where you get like turkey and potatoes and gravy and beans okay. and yeah. or like their fried, fried chicken is just so fries. good. Their fries and the dip, that's the problem is the fries and the dip are so good. The space shuttle. We're at Costco. There's a new Costco in town. Oh, I wonder that. Go. I wonder what that could be. Go again. Why did you turn this phone off? <laughs> I think there's a little Actually, someone look. back behind here. 
All right, so we kind of have a, have had a, I don't know, just a random discombobulated day and nothing that I could really like bring you along with after we got home from lunch. Um, we actually just finished. Um, can you guess what this is? Ashley's favorite, besides McDonald's, is Panda Express. Um, her and I had Panda. Ash Chelsea had Wendy's. Yes, we're on an eat, eat out day. Um, just because this is like my dad's food. I don't think he would care, but I just didn't want to cook. Um, and tomorrow we're being fed all day um, with the wedding. And then the next day we're being fed with our family Christmas party. So I haven't really needed to do anything besides breakfast. So we did that for dinner tonight. It's already 9, 10. But before that, when we got home from lunch, I um, immediately went over to, to our neighbor where we are charging our car and realized his daughter was there. She is my age, I went to high school with her and uh, chatted with her for a little bit and then went directly across the street to my mom's and dad's other neighbor and talked to her for like easily an hour and a half or two. Um, she's like <laughs> one of my best friends, but she's like, my mom, my friend's mom, like her, her daughter passed away um, right after Ashley was born. So she's been gone for 10 years now. So her daughter was a year younger than me and I grew up with her. Um, so Kathy is her name. She's like in her 70s, but she's seriously one of my best friends and I love, 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 love talking to her. So we just sat and talked and talked and talked for like two hours. It was so wonderful. Jason knows I need my Kathy time. And so he just, he's like, go find Kathy, go have fun. So we got done with that. And then my younger sister, Katie came over with her daughter and her bait and her dog, which I can't film them. And so we just spent time hanging out with them. And then we went to dinner and now I run out of energy. I have all these gifts for my twin. I have all these gifts for my twin sister that I brought with us and packaged up but I need to wrap this stuff. And so this is like my mom's leftover holiday wrapping bin. So I've just kind of found some paper to use. Now I've run out of energy, but let me show you all the gifts that I have in here by the tree. I, ha I packaged those up earlier today um, because everyone will be showing up in and out tomorrow on the next day. So let me just show you. Before my, before my battery dies, I've got to hurry. Um, so I've got the big present right there for my sister-in-law. And then I've just got all of these ones down here. And then this is the big one. That one's the potty. That's the squatty potty for my brother. So I've got these all in here and there's actually one more. I had to hide it from my niece. It's under there somewhere, hopefully. Sorry about that, my battery died down by the Christmas tree. And so I just, I'm like, I'm done for the day. <laughs> I'm coming up to bed. So I came up and saying goodnight to my dad. Anyway, my niece was playing with the presents down there. And so I kept having to, and my niece and my uh, my sister's dog kept kind of ruffling with the presents. So I probably should have waited before putting them out, but everyone's gonna be in and out of here tomorrow and the next day. Look at our cute little outfits for tomorrow for the wedding. It's pretty cold, so I'm actually glad that I brought the thicker fabric for Ashley to wear. Um, and extra sweaters and stuff, because we'll definitely need those. What else was I gonna tell you? I was gonna tell you something else. Oh, Jason and my brother Daniel, they didn't want Wendy's or Pandora, <gasps> excuse me. So they went and got Indian food. They're there that now. They wanted to sit down and have an elegant dinner. And I look like this. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. So. That's where they're at. And then they also need to run to Walmart to get a gift for my sister to give who she gives to for Christmas because her Amazon order is not going to be here by tomorrow. She's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And now I have to go home and put my baby to bed. And I was like, I got you. We'll go to Walmart, kind of come up with a makeshift gift and then she can can't cancel her Amazon order. She's like, I don't know why I didn't just get it from, from a, what do you call it? Walmart in the first place. Cause she literally found what she wanted from Walmart. So I have to explain this. Why do we have a new, there's a tag on it. It's Jakaria. You've heard Jakaria's name before. She's a boba tea. 
Um, we have the blue one. This is the green one. Just got it at Costco today. I don't think we mentioned this. So today, my little niece, again, can, couldn't film her. It was quite cute. She was playing with Ashley's Squishmallow. And I came in and I showed my sister and I was like, hey, she really, your daughter really likes Squishmallows. I think the time has come. I think she needs to have a Squishmallow. And my sister was like, nope, 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 nope. I don't have room for a Squishmallows. So what did I do? I did the dutiful aunt duty. <sighs> and we got her her own. Squishmallow, her first Squishmallow. Ashley's giving it to her for Christmas. I mean, it would be the appropriate thing to do as an aunt to give the unwanted gift from the aunt. So, I felt like it was necessary. I also was reminded of a story of my aunt giving my brother and my nephew. My brother had one kid at the, child, at the time and I know this isn't wonderful lighting, but I just want to tell you this story because it's kind of funny. So my aunt had kids late in life. She got married late in life. And so her kids were close in age to my brother's son when he was born. And so um, my aunt was cleaning out her kids' toys and there's maybe like a nine or 10 year difference, but you know how you hang on to toys for a long time? Well, my aunt was really trying to declutter all these toys. So she <laughs> calls my brother and says, hey, I have a gift for you. I'm gonna get, I need to get rid of a few things. Can I bring you something for Andrew, my nephew? And my brother's like, yeah, sure, that'll be fun, that'll be fun. So my aunt brought every single toy that made noise every musical instrument, every animal that pushed on the hand and made noise, songs, every single thing, xylophones, like if it made noise, my aunt bought brand new batteries, put them in every single toy, and gave a brand new pack of batteries with the appropriate size, and hand delivered them unwrapped, fully exposed to my nephew, to my brother's son, who with wide eyes <laughs> spent the next couple hours turning on every single toy, making every single noise possible. <laughs> and my brother called my aunt hours later, said, I absolutely hate you. And she said, that, then my job is well done. I did a great job. <laughs> My brother was so mad. He was like, I have never been more annoyed with children's toys in my entire life. He was so annoyed. And so now he's starting to pass that duty on to the next set of kids coming along. And I feel like I have to do the same thing. It's your duty as an aunt to give the annoying gifts that the mom doesn't want. So anyway, we're kind of in shambles um, here Got everything kind of laid out. Um, but we are all taking showers and getting cleaned up tonight. And then tomorrow, I have a fun little thing in the morning that we're gonna do with my dad if I can wake up in time. Um, we'll share with that with you. It's a fun tradition of my dad's that I finally get to be here for. Like I said, I haven't been here for a long time. So stay tuned for tomorrow and then we have a wedding to go to and I will be very discreet in filming at the wedding. Half the family doesn't want to be filmed. Definitely won't, don't want to film the bride if she's not comfortable with that, but we'll get enough of it that you get the general gist. Um, so stay tuned until tomorrow, and it's just gonna be a great weekend. Very short, but all the fun is starting tomorrow. So stay tuned, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Decorating the tree from this Christmas song.